All right, everybody, one last video. Here we go. We have two resistors in series. Now we need to measure things like the voltage. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some multimeters. You can see I've already started the search engine down here to add a component. I typed in multi, and it came up. It looks like this. The multimeter can measure multiple things. That's why it's called a multimeter. And so what you'll notice is each of these has a marking for A, that's current, V for voltage, or R for resistance. And if we go to each one, we can look at change what it's looking for by just clicking on the drop down but for this activity we want to just do voltage so here's the deal there's a three reason i have three multimeters up here okay we're going to attach one to each of the three components that we have in our circuit one is going to be to the green resistor or led one is going to be to the resistor and one is going to be the blue led and here's what we know is if i start the simulation real quick we have nine volts of energy of electric potential energy nine volts available here to do something and as we go through the circuit and travel from the red line out through the push button, I hit the green LED, and some of that 9 volt is used. Not all of the 9 volt, but some of it. And so I have less energy as I travel from here over to the resistor. And as I travel through the resistor, I use up some energy in order to get through it. Just like running back with a football, Bo Jackson uses up some energy running over defenders, right? Same thing happens here, it travels through, and by the time it gets to the third one, it's going to use the remaining energy, the rest of the 9 volts, in order to get out and get back to the circuit. Because what we know is this, when it says 9 volts, what we're saying is the difference in energy levels between the positive and negative ends is going to be 9 volts exactly. So, how do we measure then the voltage across a component? I will show you one. The other two are up to you to figure out. It's really simple, though. The nice thing is, I'm going to click Stop Simulation. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to move it to where I want it to be. In fact, you know what? Let's just leave it out here. Let's use some long wires and just, this is the green one, okay? Positive end is where we have more energy. That's before it goes through the component. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to connect it over here to somewhere that connects to this leg. You know, and in fact, I'm just going to try to connect it here. I'm still learning this program too. I'm going to take the negative end. I'm going to connect it to the other leg. Let's see what happens here. Okay, and if I do this and I click Start Simulation, right now we have 76.9 millivolts traveling through it. That's not very much at all, guys. That's out of nine, that's 76 thousandths of a volt. Watch what happens when I push the button, though. Aha, two of the nine volts, 2.03 to be exact, of the nine volts are used going through the green LED, enough so that we're able to light it. So now we know we have about 7 volts left to make it through the resistor and the blue LED. So your job is to go hook up, and that's pretty darn simple. Your job is to go hook up the other multimeters to measure the voltage drop across. How much of the voltage do we drop across the resistor? And then use this guy over here to find the voltage drop across the blue LED. You're going to use those numbers to complete the rest of activity 1.2.3 with the actual breadboarding of circuits.